uh, from looking at I a mean, lean part of the analyze phase. When we come to the Six Sigma part of analyze phase, we create a cause and effect diagram. So in the cause and effect diagram, we classify the all the reasons for the problem or the effect or into six categories or six M's that has been given. So uh, man, machine, measurement, uh, material, methods, and environment or mother nature. So this is what sometimes called as fishbone diagram as it has the shape of a fish and bone. It is also called a Shishikawa diagram named after the scientists who developed it. So it says that if we have a delay in order fulfillment, the reasons for those delay can be classified into six categories by brainstorming. So man, material, measurement, machine, methods, and environment. So this is how a cause and effect diagram is created and we can look into a cause and effect diagram and graphically represent all possible causes for an effect in a gra graphical manner. So this is called a cause and effect diagram. Once we do a cause and effect diagram, a Pareto chart help us to find the root causes. In the root cause identification, we find out how many times each of these reasons have resulted in the effect or the problem. So we can say this is where we can find from those cumulative percentages we can find that how many reasons are cumulatively resulting in 80 percent. So if you see this, so we can see that the first three reasons <coughs> cumulatively results in 80 percent of the problems. So that is how this is again a mini tab is used to find the root causes. The cumulative percentages are looked into. So for each reason, we are getting the frequency of occurrences, the percentage for each reason and the cumulative percentages, how each one is cumulatively resulting in it. So we can say delay in production, 39.2. Delay in production and SOP not followed, cumulatively, 39.2 plus 29.4, cumulatively giving the cumulative percentages. This is how a Pareto chart is <coughs> created in data, excuse me. So let's, uh, let me just show you in uh, detail how to do a Pareto chart. So you can see that, so the Pareto chart, I'm just taking the Excel sheet from this, uh, the Pareto chart and the fishbone diagram. So the data has been, I'm just copying it to a mini tab worksheet. So STAT quality tools, cause and effect diagram will help us to create the cause and effect diagram. So labels uh, can be, the default labels can be changed. So man, machine, material, method, machine, measurement and environment. So we can see which column to be used for each label. So we have to just double oh. click there. So man is in C1, machine, I've written in C6, so double click on machine. Material is in C5, methods is in C4, measurement is C7, and environment is environment. So in fact, we have to write delay in order fulfillment. So when we click it, we get this fishbone diagram. So we can see that when you come to the green belt, I'll be teaching how to do this in sequentially. So here I'm just showing you how to create and how we can. So the output from any tab is compatible with the Word document. So we can send to the Word and we can open it in the Word. And similarly, when we have a Pareto chart, so stat, quality tool and Pareto chart. So defect and attribute data is in reasons, frequencies in frequency. Okay, so we can see that Pareto chart is created. So we can see each one. So delay in production is resulting in delay in procurement 60 times, 36.8 percentage of the delays because of that. 
standard operating procedure was not followed. 45 times resulted in delay in fulfillment, contributing to 37, 27.6% of the delay. Cumulatively, the first two, 36.8 plus 27.6, cumulatively resulting in 64.4. Uh, delay in transportation is 20, that is 12.3 percentage of the delays because of that, and 76.7. And 15%, 15 times it is because of delay in quality check, 9.2, 85.2. So what is, how much is near to 80% is what we check. So we can say the first three reasons are cumulatively resulting near to 80%. So if we just focus on this, the three reasons, 80% of the problems can be resolved or near to 80% can be resolved. Can so <laughs> So that is how do we uh, find the Pareto chart and how to interpret the Pareto chart. So we try to see how many reasons are cumulatively resulting near to 80%. So that becomes the Pareto uh, principle. We are trying to see how much reasons are cumulatively resulting near to 80%. So that is how do we say there's an interpretation from the cumulative percentages we can see. And the validation of those root causes are done by data collection. So once we know these are the root causes, we try to collect the 